First of all, I just wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone and thankfully 2020 is in the past now and we can move forward to this year. And something I wanted to do for this year to try to make sure I keep my productivity up is to actually reconfigure my home screen layout on my iPad Pro. So this video is going to show you a little bit more of a personal insight into how I'm going to reorganize my iPad and I'm going to be explaining a rule and something I'll dub as a productivity doc and what that is going to be. So if you're interested, don't forget to like and subscribe as it does help me out a ton. And don't forget that there's going to be timestamps in the description so that way you can skip to a section if you are bored of one or you just don't care about a certain section. So that'll help you move along the video and hopefully stay entertained throughout the whole video. So let's get started with the rule I'm going to follow. Now with the rule, I'm going to basically just say that if I can't remember what the application was, or I don't even remember using it in 2020, then I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Because if I ever come down the road and I do need to use the app, I can just install it and use it the once or twice I might need to. So that's not going to be a trouble because I obviously won't even have remembered what the app is or what I remember even using it in the first place. Now what I'm also going to do is reorganize the folder. So I'm going to basically take a deep dive into what I think I really need in the folders and how I'm going to organize it with the doc. And speaking of the doc, the productivity doc, as I'm dubbing it, I basically only want essential applications or folders that have applications that I will use basically on a regular basis during my semester or when I'm creating stuff for YouTube, like thumbnails or maybe short TikTok videos. And basically, I just want to use applications that I typically use in a side by side window. So that way it's easy for me to find and drag over so I can do the side by side apps constantly. So if you're going to be doing this, then I'd suggest you do the same thing that I did to start off. And and that is going to settings, going to general, then reset, and then selecting reset home layout. And this will basically just take every single folder you've created and delete it and display every single application you have installed on your iPad Pro, basically on every single home screen. And this will be the same for your iPhone if you're interested in doing it in your iPhone. And what this allows me to do is basically go through every single app one by one and delete whatever app I want. And then once I kind of deleted and decluttered, then I can start grouping apps together. And also while you're grouping apps together, it helps you find more applications that you may not even use and that you need to delete. So basically the folders that I came up with was the Apple folder, which contains a lot of the Apple apps that I typically don't use and it's just there. And some of them, I can't even delete them off the iPad. So that's just kind of hidden in the folder there. Then I also have a utilities folder. So this is basically more tool or utility type applications that I don't typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. I sometimes do use these quite a bit, and if I do need those, then I can move it over to the dock for that day, or just basically it'll be in my recents bar because I would have been using it more that day. So that's basically not a problem to have on the home screen and not in the dock. Now I also have an entertainment folder and this is meant to hide some of the distracting apps and for the entertainment I included anything that you watch so any type of media as well as social media YouTube of course falls into that and as well as any other app that I just find distracting that is meant to be entertaining like games or anything like that. Then looking over at the doc, what you can see is the folders I've included are basically creative folder, which has all my more um, image editing, video editing, and um, graphic design applications, as well as drawing like Procreate. And basically what this allows me to do is have all my creative stuff in one folder. And I basically also have a Office Suite folder. It has Microsoft Office as well as Adobe Acrobat for PDF files, as well as the iWork Suite. So that way, if I ever want to use any of the iWork stuff like Pages, because I'm using that to write an ebook about my experience in community college, but the reason why I have this Office Suite type of folder is because I want to separate these applications from the other ones, even though they relate to school or productivity, and I could have combined them with something else. I just like it in its own folder because I feel like it's more organized and I can find it better because that's something I struggled with last semester because I always kind of had to find it because I couldn't see the icons just as well. But now I know that it's in its own folder and I know that it's basically where it is now that I've set it up that way. The next folder I have in the doc is called the engineering folder. And I basically have just engineering specific applications in there, whether it's engineer prep or just like MATLAB or some CAD designing apps. So that way it's just there. And if I need something that's pure engineer, I know exactly which folder to go to. 
Next up, I also have my school folder. And this one has more applications that kind of mix in with engineering, as well as just my other courses and for studying and for learning, as well as homework and homework help. Basically everything school that is not engineering specific goes in that folder. All right, so now for the widgets. I didn't necessarily follow a rule for the widgets, but I did try to keep things that would help my productivity and not be distracting or counterproductive. So I have my tick tick widget, which basically is for my task manager, and it shows me the month view on the left, and on the right, it shows me my task that I have for that day. And I find this to be a nice widget, and also it shows me the whole month layout without needing to open an actual calendar app. Next behind that, as part of the stack I created, I have the battery widget, so that way I can quickly reference to see what my headphone batteries are at, my Apple Pencil and my iPad. Next up, I have my Notion shortcut widget, so that way I can jump to the home section that I have for my Notion, and I'm still setting it up. So if you wanna see a full Notion video, then let me know down in the comments. Next up, I also have a motivation widget, which basically just shows you some motivational quotes depending on which categories you select in the application, and they do have a premium version but I don't pay for it I just get the free version you just can't customize it as much or you just have to watch ads to do certain customizations now something that you also need to do if you're reconfiguring your home screen is choosing a new wallpaper that is fresh and also maybe give some inspiration so for me I went to unsplash.com and just found something that I like the colors of generally and then I took it into affinity photo to adjust the colors a little bit to how I like it a little bit better and how I think it would look a little nicer as a wallpaper and then what I also did was add a little bit of text that also serves as a little bit of a motivational quote in a way, but basically I like to keep it short and simple if I have any type of motivational wallpapers. And I'll actually link it for you in the description, both as a iPhone one and also as an iPad one if you're interested in having that as your own wallpapers. So basically I have a short little thing that says hustle and create because I want to hustle more this year and I want to create more this year. So just a little bit motivational reminder for what I want to do this year as part of my goals. All right, so this can't be complete without showing you what's on the actual physical iPad, not just what's digitally on the iPad. So basically, first off with the case I have on my iPad Pro, it is a case by a company called Soki. I found it for $10 and I don't know if that was just like a holiday deal or if it's because it's the 2018 model of the iPad Pro, but basically a great case for the price and it does have a place to store the Apple Pencil, which is really nice and it has the three flaps so that way you can have it as a traditional folio case made by Apple kind of and that way you can have it in a typing position and also as a stand position. And overall, it's very nice, works really nice, and it feels great, so you don't have to worry about it feeling too cheap or not being secure for the iPad. And then also, I have a paper-like screen protector installed, and this is something newer that I've tried, and I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, but Paperlike did send me the screen protector for free to try out, and also I'm gonna be doing a video on that, so make sure you hit the bell notifications to see that video when it comes out. So with the Paperlike screen protector, it's really nice because because it does give you a paper-like feel almost, and it does have less noise than some of those cheaper screen protectors you might find off Amazon. And I have actually enjoyed using it, but I'm gonna save the rest for the actual video. I don't wanna give away the whole video yet. So. That's what my iPad Pro setup is going to be for 2021. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you smash that like button and consider subscribing if you've enjoyed this video so far. And basically, let me know what you think of my iPad Pro setup down in the comments or on over on Twitter. And you can also at me on Twitter and show me what your iPad Pro setup is like. And if you've done something similar to start off this year to make sure that you have a productive setup as well. And until next time, don't forget to take it easy with some tea and I'll see you guys in the next one.